Dear learners, welcome back to Urdu Rasmul Khat OUL001. In this lesson, we'll learn about dal, dal, dal with connectors and non-connectors. इस सबक में हम दाल दाल जाल की जुड़ने और न जुड़ने वाली हालतों के बारे में गुफ्तु करेंगे विल सी द मैथड टू यूज एट द इनिशियल मीडियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन इन वर्ड हाउ वी यूज दीज अल्फाबेट्स इन दियर इनिशियल मीडियल एंड फाइनल पोजिशन वे हैव लर्ट अबाउट दिस कॉन्सेप्ट अलॉट दैट हाउ an alphabet works uh, in its initial position in medial position and final position lafzon ke pehle beech aur aakhir mein jodne ya judne ka tarika kya hai in huruf ka aur kaise ye istemal hote hain now we are uh, going to familiar with a concept that is called connector and not connector uh, we told you that we have two types of alphabets one type is uh, what we call connectors and second type is that is non non connectors uh, we have alphabets uh, when they uh, when we form words from those alphabets how they work do they change their shapes if they change their shapes that concept is called connector and second is when we form alphabets from these words do they change their shapes they do not change their shapes that concept is called and non connectors they do not connect with each other they remain in their full form that concept concept is called non connector and in this uh, lecture in this episode we'll learn about this concept uh, related to dal because dal works with uh, dal is considered a uh, non connector alphabet with many words now we told you about alif is uh, actually not connector waw is not connector so we reach to dal it is also non connector when they will come with each other they do not change their shapes they remain in their full forms they remain in their full forms and do not change their shapes this concept is called non connector but there are uh, they work with another alphabets which are connectors so we'll see examples of connectors first how it work with the alphabets which are connectors we'll see here we have two columns here examples with their full form and with their short form so the concept may be clear for you what is meant by connection and not connection uh, we'll see here first example uh, we have the word data you can see dal in full form plus alif alif in full form plus ta ta in full form plus alif alif in full form when they, these alphabets are disconnected they always work with their full forms okay when the alphabets are disconnected uh, in a language like urdu arabic farsi kashmiri when they are disconnected they always come with their full forms when they are connected they turn into short forms and there is the at times when they will be with non connectors they will uh, there also they will not change their positions or shapes so we have here data when they are separated and they come in their full form when these alphabets are connected so they change their shapes 
if they will be non connectors they will not change their shapes if they will be connectors or some alphabets among them will be connectors they will change their shape so we can see here dal remain in its uh, full form alif also i would like to ask you the question why dal remain in its full form yes you got it that dal came in its first position and when dal will came in its first first position it will not change its shape this is the concept it will not change it will not turn into short form it will remain in its full form so it uh, does not change its shape and alif also uh, does the same thing alif does not change its position or shape whether it will use it in first form or second form or uh, final form or end form it will not change its shape whether it will be connected or disconnected alif always will remain same okay so these two alphabets did not change their shapes we have ta and ta changed its shape and this is what made this word connector otherwise if i will use another word for example da 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 here this will become non connector but here came ta and this ta turn this alphabet into connector from non connector okay and they changed its shape da ta they changed its shape why okay because it came in its first position when it comes in its first position we know they, that it works with short form if we will use it at the end it will not change its form or shape okay this is uh, the example first example of easy example of connector and ta connected with alif and this ta changed the whole word of da ta into connector we have second example of here uh, disconnected words alphabets dal plus alif plus mim plus alif plus dal when they are disconnected they worked with their full forms now we'll connect the, these alphabets and we'll see what they do dal came in its initial position so it will not change its shape okay alif does not change its shape now we have mim here mim in initial position and mim like be like lam when it will come in its first position it will change its shape so it changed its shape mim changed its shape and like te mim turn this whole word we will insert another alif here example here for example here it will become dad and by this simple process the alphabet will change from connector to not connector okay so this meme changed its shape it came uh, in its short form why because when we use meme in its initial position or second position it changes its shape like other words they change their shape and uh, at the end dal is in end position and we know about dal group that when it will come in end or second position it will come by both ways in its full form and it is uh, uh, short form so uh, it came after non connector so it will not change its shape okay we oh, have third example here the one uh, all the alphabets are disconnected when they are disconnected they uh, work with their full forms 
ڈال وتھ فل فل فارم یہ وتھ فل فارم فاو وتھ نون وتھ فل فارم بٹ وین دے آر کنیکٹڈ ویل سی ہاؤ دے اینڈ وچ الفابیٹس امنگ دس چینج دیئر پوزیشن شیپس اینڈ اٹ ڈپینڈس اپان دیئر پوزیشن فرسٹ پوزیشن سیکنڈ پوزیشن اینڈ فائنل پوزیشن اینڈ اٹ ڈپینڈس اپان to which group they belong these are concepts so we'll see here the one we can see dal in its initial position does not change shape yeah we'll learn about this yeah but we have told you little bit about this they also uh, belongs to bay group and it formed shapes like bay group so we can see here one form of b group j uh, after dal and before vowel d and this j turned into short form and only this alphabet like mim and te of uh, before examples turn this word into connected d one uh, remaining alphabets they are non connectors but Uh, this word will be considered as connector word because j turned into short form similar is the example of dewar there is only one alphabet difference between two words uh, instead of uh, noon we inserted uh, ra there and it turned this uh, these alphabets into an other word Uh, only inserting uh, or replacing uh, the noon with hara this became the word first word is the one it is uh, it it has its own meaning own concept and divar has its own meaning own concept but uh, they are formed by same way okay we have the var this is um, example of connector alphabet and uh, here also j turned into short form okay short form of b group and this uh, process turn this uh, word into connector from non connector we have examples of uh, dal in uh, second question or final question you can see here uh, both examples in these alphabets in uh, disconnected form alif plus waw plus lam plus alif plus dal aw lad aw lad and uh, we'll connect them we'll see how they will work alif in its full form does not change its shape mm, waw also it also belongs to Uh, non connectors and the category of alphabet is like alif uh, it a vowel does not change its shapes or does not change its shapes in any case it remains intact in its full form and after that we have lam lam in second position we know that when lam will work in its uh, second position or uh, first position it will change its shape so uh, lam like the alphabets before like the words before uh, or alphabets before ta mim ye uh, in te mim ye it changed its shapes and changing its shape turn this word from non connector to connector this is au la and only lam changed its shape here it is written in short form remaining alphabets are uh, written in their full forms we have another example of uh, connector that is kha khe plus dal plus alif khe plus dal plus alif now you can observe here uh, dal also turns into shape form changes shape Uh, we'll connect this word uh, and we um, observe that dal turn into a ray form 
so here you have to remember that it is not re it is dal it is dal what how we say it is dal because we know that when the alphabets belong to dal group turn into short forms that turns that looks like ray that looks like ray first point second point you have to remember mostly in the medial position when there will be ray like shape most probably it will be the alphabet of dal group okay so this he turn dal into in short form it is like it is written like this khuda khuda so uh, after he the word is dal not re it is not khara it is khuda okay khuda uh, so this uh, turning of he and dal in short forms made this alphabet connector okay. it connects with with um, other alphabets these two are connected like uh, lam uh, and alif are connected ta and alif are connected mim and alif are connected j and wa are connected so here ha he and da dal they are connected they connect with each other and uh, this is the formula behind the or this is the concept of connected and not connected we have another example here alif they are uh, in their full forms alif plus jim plus dal plus alif plus dal when they are separated how they look like they look like uh, in our work like in their full forms but when we connect them they turned into another form so we'll observe those forms we will see here alif plus jim plus then what is it dal okay you identified rightly it is dal not re and we will say short form of dal uh, aj and alif plus dal we'll see here alif uh, did not change its shape it uh, never changed shape jim when jim uh, uh, and alphabets belong to this group they will come in first and medial position they will change their shapes so alif came here jim came here in its uh, second position or medial position it changed its shape it is rule of jim group or be group or lam group or mim group group when they will come in their uh, first and second position they will change their shape so here it has came in its second position so it will change its shape so we can see here that jim has changed its shape and it also affected dal turned it into ray like so uh, and made this word connected made this word connected word connected itself with dal and turn dal into ray like okay aj dal so we have short form of uh, jim and dal here and full forms of alif and dal here and uh, another example is likewise ju da ju da jim in its uh, initial position so when it will uh, came in its initial position it will change its shape and after jim uh, you can observe in full form it is dal but in uh, connected form it looks like ray but it is dal you can see when this is disconnect when you will disconnect the word especially in machine or computer it will turn itself in its full form and you can identify this easily what word actually this what alphabet actually this is and you can see here when we disconnected this word you can see it is dal after g uh, in its uh, full form and when it is connected it uh, looks like ray but it is not ray it is dal and alif in its full form 
aapko hai wo the examples of dal here they are separated dal plus alif plus lam plus dal plus alif when they are separated how they are written and they are always written in their full forms but when they are connected they turn into many of many alphabets turn into short shapes and in ra and in uh, dal group it turn into uh, short shape of re group okay uh, we'll connect them dal and you can see uh, dal also here in its initial or first position it will not change its shape it will come with full form full shape and alif and then lam lam is connector lam when it will uh, come in its medial position it will change its shape and it affected dal also it affected you have to observe it it affected dal also it looks like day but it is not day rather it is dal how you can see you can we can see in this we have here when we'll, we'll disconnect this word when we disconnected this word uh, we saw that it is dal uh, so how it became day when this um, was connected with another alpha, alphabet that is dal preceded uh, dal is preceded by lam and lam itself turned into um, short form and also turned dal into short form like day that looks like day but it's not day it is dal the short form of dal and we have alif here same is the example here danda danda about noon we also told you that it also uh, works uh, like bay group uh, we can include this al alphabet into bay group and because it works uh, it forms its shapes like bay and the alphabets belong to bay group they form their shapes noon forms same shapes and it has uh, a little difference in its full form but the short forms are they are similar to bay group so dal in its full form will not change its shape noon changes its shape in its medial position because the alphabets belong to bay group they change their shapes and we have, you have not learned yet about noon you will learn about it in its place very well inshallah uh, we have dal and third dal after noon that is the, that looks like day but it is uh, when we will separate this you can see this is dal not day but looks like day and um, second rule you have to remember i will repeat this again when the alphabets belong to dal group when they will came in their medial position they will turn into dal shape and most probably it will not be the um, alphabet of re group rather it will be the alphabet of dal group so here we have the word um, after noon that is dal not day and alif at the end uh, we have another example do la dal followed by wow both do not change their shapes lam change its shape why because it is affected by alif and it when um, whether it will come its alif or other alphabets it will change its shape except characters we have dong here dong you can see dal does not change its shape wow will remain same uh, about he or do chashmi he you will learn about it and uh, ga uh, about this alf uh, alphabet you will learn about you have to see uh, only about um, dal um, when it came in its first or uh, initial position it uh, will not change its shape we have uh, and this is these are the examples of connectors we can see here the second examples lard la lard la okay uh, dal in its uh, second form and we know about uh, dal group when they 
come in it is it come in their uh, second position or final position they come by both ways in their full form and in their short form so um, you can observe here dal in it is uh, full form dal works by both ways in full form and in short form ha d dal dal turn into ray like and uh, this is this process made this connector okay ha also you will see and learn about this dandura when they are disconnected how they look like when they are connected how they like so we have another example nidar in, in their disconnected form and in connected form lard you can also observe them only lamb turned into short form and uh, dal at the end position uh, came with full form and another example ajad 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 dal in it is short form da we know that the alphabets belong to dal group when they when they came at the end or second position they come by both ways in their full form and in their short form we have example of lard uh, dal is at the end position but came with full form we have example of ajad word dal came at the end but but in it is short form why so because the alphabets belong to dal group they come by both ways in their uh, second position and final position and only in first position they come uh, with full forms we have another examples dund uh, dal as uh, dal is full form and short form full form in initial position and uh, short form in final position it uh, depends upon the alphabets which with they connect okay we have pound dal in, in it is uh, short form we have examples of zal here that path only zal in its initial position because it belongs to dal group so the alphabets belong to this group they will not change their position shapes in initial or first position so dal whether it is disconnected or connected and came in first position it will not change its shape so see it in the disconnected form dal plus alif plus ta pe plus alif plus ta zat path in its disconnected form it is in its full form in its, uh, when it is connected it also remained as it is written in uh, separated form so why so because it is used in it is initial or first position and it will not change its shape this is the reason so we will see only the alphabet pay uh, made this whole word uh, into connect into connected words and, uh, and uh, dropped it in the category of connectors okay path pa turned into short form we have here another example za kid za kid dal in its initial position will not change its shape and followed by it. this is also another reason it will not change its shape uh, and we have kif here qaf here and re here qaf and re both will change there they will turn into short form we will learn about those zahin zal in full form zikir zal in full form but the word is connector word because uh, zahin and zikir they both are connected and turned into short forms or we can see uh, ha he also turned into short form ye turned into short form ka turned into short form we have zul jalal we have zul jalal word here zal in first position will not change shape lam has changed its shape jim has changed shape another um, lam has changed shape and uh, this word is uh, in the category of um, connectors we have uh, zal used in 
second position and final position we have an example here ma za ma za zal in medial position and we know that it comes by both ways you now in its full form and in short form here it is usually in its full form ma za nazar za zal in its short form it seems it is z but it is not z uh, how we'll see this we'll disconnect this when we disconnect this it is noon plus zal plus ra not z but when it is connected it looks like it is z uh, so you have to remember when the alphabets belong to dal group they will come in medial position most probably they will be alphabets of dal group okay and but will seem will look like z, uh, alphabets ray group so we have here uh, and uh, this zal turned into short form and and connected with noon so this is the example of connectors or maza meme connected with alif and turned into short form and connected this word okay so we have another example mazhab zal as short form and in its medial position and uh, it's connected itself with meme or meme connected with zal and uh, affected zal also what effect it made on this it turned uh, this zal into z z like shape and this is short form of zal how we um, we will know this will disconnect them when will disconnect them we can see after meme it is zal in its full form by this process we can know is alphabets uh, we have another example nazir when it is disconnected it zal in its full form when it is connected it turned into z like shape ustaz zal at the end or final position in its full form mahaz in its full form shaz in its full form and also connected seen and te and alif they are connected meme and he and alif they are connected sheen and alif they are connected but zal in its full form we have another example a khaz we have we can see here it is it looks like it is z but it is not z it is zal it is zal uh, um, how we will know this we have to disconnect them when we will disconnect them the alphabet will turn in in its uh, full shape or full form and by this way we can see that it is zal a khaz ma khaz ma khaz okay and the second thing is it is kha and zal they are connected they turn into short shape so this is connected ma khaz only we add meme here it became another word ma khaz and the processes other processes similar we have another word ka ghaz ka ghaz okay like ka has turned into short form alif remained the same Ain turned into short short form and zal at the end also turned into short form. Uh, we know that um, alphabets belong to dal 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 zal. Alphabet alphabets belong to dal group. They are dal dal zal. When they come in their short forms, they looks like ray. First thing, second thing. they come by both ways in their medial and final position so we'll see the examples of non connectors also so it may be clear for us we have examples of dal here this is not connected and uh, most of the alphabets you will see here they are not connectors so whether when they are words but they Uh, they are also connected but they do not change their shapes so this concept we call this concept non connectors they do not change their shapes but they form words we have example uh, of separation of alphabets here dal plus alif plus waw plus we call it ulta which you will learn about this plus da da wood when they are separated now we'll connect them and uh, you can see that these alphabets 
do not change their shapes when they were written as dis in disconnected form they seem same when they are written in connected form they remain same and they do not connect with each other okay they do not turn into short shapes and this is called not connect non connectors by another example of uh, dad you can see here dad dal plus ali plus dal and uh, when we'll uh, form word from from this alphabet it is they remain intact in their full forms okay we have another example dawat here is an uh, here is a word they we about uh, this group it belongs to b group they do not change their shapes when they come come at the final or end position we have exa another examples of though uh, in, in disconnected form and connected form and in both ways it is same dam uh, in it is disconnected form and connected form and we see that in they do not connect with each other so when they do not connect with each other they do not change their shapes we have another examples of dad uh, same process they uh, likewise daraz it also does the same urdu urdu is the example of non connectors you can see urdu we have four alphabets here they belong to non cat non connector category when they come or work with each other they will form the word but they will not change their shapes they will not turn into short forms when they will work with each other ad war ad war whether it's, whether it's separated or non separated it will uh, be written likewise okay ada adrak dada so when these alphabets will come each other when they will uh, will gather them they will not change their shapes and this concept is called non connectors we'll see examples of dal dub okay dal plus wa plus ba when it is separated how it is written and when we'll connect connect to this Uh, we will see that it will not change its shape as well do it is written uh, same in disconnected form or connected form okay they will they do not connect with each other every alphabet uh, works with its full form dol doom dal ada ya adda adda so these alphabets when they are separated ada is separated alif plus dal plus alif and when it is uh, uh, written uh, in the form of word uh, whether it is separated or in the form of word it remains same road ward these are examples what concept you have to understand from this uh, when they are um, when we form words from this these alphabets which are non connectors they will not change their shapes they will remain in their full form ye apni asal halat mein rahenge jis halat mein ye hai ye usi halat mein rahenge ye apni shaklon ko tabdeel nahi karenge we have examples of zal here zat pat zal zam zal in its first position it will never change its shape because the alphabets belong to dal group they will not change their shapes <coughs> we have uh, and another word is uh, uh, alif it it also does not change its shape at ta came at the final position it mm, we know that at the final end position alphabets belong to mm, be group jim group mim group they will not change their shapes okay so we have in three examples here zat zal zam uh, they belong these alphabets belong to the category of non connectors so, so we can see here uh, use of different shapes in words mukhtalif shaklon ka lafzon mein kaise istemal karenge 
uh, we'll see so we have learned about some shapes so we'll see here damad do am lao majda tala dal do zat pat kham bat dada dal la do mama jal dal do uh, these are shapes which we use when we uh, connect uh, alphabets with another alphabets they form words and when we uh, connect words from another word they form uh, sentences so we are making here practice on this cha cha do maza lao tu ata to do am pata dal dal zal apa do am la do dal dal pat pat do am la do laadu paltu tota la do dada lal pauda do chacha tota dol do apa mama dalda lata ladla baba ata maza lata khalu baat tal do uh, these are the examples of uh, alphabets which you have learned till this lecture and we try to form the sentences from these alphabets you have learned about this but there came some examples of shapes uh, we want to clear you that when an alphabet is connected with another an alphabet uh, which to which shape that turns into so but uh, when we try to make sentences from these alphabets we try to make our best to give those examples uh, examples of those alphabets about which you have learned uh, hopeful for a positive outcome shukriya